Druidcraft versus Heaven and Earth. Which tarot deck is the best? All right, here they are, the boxes. They're they're pretty large boxes. <laughs> One is slightly bigger than the other, uh, and everything is contained within the box. We're going to talk about the authors, the artists, the packaging, the imagery, and various things in this review. You might notice already on the side the the beetle and also another little icon. The St. Martin's Essentials is the Druid Craft, which is where we're going to start. <clears throat> and the boxing is a little bit unique. They separate the cards into like two thin piles and it has like this plastic mold on the inside and then the book fits on top of that and then it slides into the box. Um, so, it's kind of an unusual design. The cards themselves, they're shiny on one side, and they're not quite as shiny on the other side, I think. Um, we'll see that picture in a minute. The book has, uh, quite a bit of text, and as I mentioned in my write-up, the Druid Craft pulls heavily on ancient Celtic cultures and the Wicca faith, and the two artists, Philip and Stephanie Carr Grom, um, their chief scribe and um, their their <laughs> sorry, I'm trying to read while I speak here. Um, but basically, they are in the large international druid groups. So when you get this book, you get a lot of information along with it, which is awesome. And um, both of these decks pull heavily on the traditional weight, traditional weight smith design, as you see in this example of the moon and the justice card. Um, but they're not 100% matching up. There is some uh, artistic license, and both of these decks are fairly realistic in their illustrations. And I think they're absolutely beautiful. I love both of them. And, yes, so St. Martin's Essentials, St. Martin's Press produced these, and I'm not sure what else I want to say about them, other than I love them, and um, I highly recommend them. Yes, this side is not as shiny. Um, you can see in all of these reviews that I do, if the lights that are above in my light box reflect in the cards, then it gives you a sense that they are reflective, and that... Coating does, I believe, protect the paper over time, but it's not so awesome for photography. <laughs> now, the Heaven and Earth deck, the cards are also pretty normal. You know, they, they really invest in the book and the design, I think, and the artwork, which is, which is wonderful. Um, this one also comes with a lot of additional information, including the Hebrew letters, and the author um, pulled as well from the occult wisdom from the original Toth deck, which is sort of coming from Egyptian mythology. So both of these decks have just a hefty amount of additional like symbology and imagery, which is exciting if you like that kind of mythology and historical stuff like I do. <laughs> and this, like the other one, has the... Um, the Waitsmith reference that you see with these two cards that you might recognize, the shiny surface. Um, this one has the borderless design, which is very popular now for cards being designed, whereas the other one does have a border around it. The cards are um, all kind of like a darker color palette. So this is the tower here. Um, and so all of them have this sort of subdued, neutral, or gray tones with a, a bit of color highlighting them. So it has a certain mood to it. And this looks like the Leaning Tower of Pisa or something like that, being shot with a lightning bolt from the top. And here we can see the cards side by side. So you can see that one is slightly less reflective than the other here. One is slightly larger than the other. Um, both of them have pretty standard cardstock. 
Nothing super fancy about the card stock or paper treatment itself, but the illustration is beautiful, the content is beautiful. I highly recommend both. I'm curious which one you would choose, and when it comes to answering that question of which is the best, it's always the one that you choose, of course, and that could be both, like me. So thank you so much for listening, and um, I hope you find more things that you love. <laughs>